prepare and I'm talking today with uh, Anthony Samsel this is February uh, the 9th Thursday and uh, we had a previous uh, interview where he disclosed uh, glyphosate's ability to uh, mimic uh, glycine as an analog uh, and thus enter our cell biology today uh, he, he will be talking about his next uh, findings uh, hello Anthony how are you I'm doing fine Tony and yourself I'm fine. So, what do you have today for the people? Uh, well, um, I have my new uh, lab findings. Uh, I progressed forward from uh, the last time we talked, where um, uh, I found glyphosate integrated with uh, um, uh, uh, with proteins, um, structural proteins. Uh, this time, I've moved on to our digestive enzymes, uh, which are also proteins. Um, and I have found glyphosate uh, fully integrated with these proteins, which means that um, uh, glyphosate can inhibit or does inhibit our digestive enzymes, which means we can't digest our food properly. When that happens, that leads to uh, uh, illness, all kinds of illnesses. Okay, uh, fantastic. Now, just for the people, you said uh, digestive enzymes are proteins. Can you tell them, apart from being proteins, what, uh, what do they do in our digestion? Uh, enzymes are catalysts. Uh, they're uh, proteins or substances that cause chemical reactions to happen. Uh, in the case of digestion, um, it causes um, our food to be broken down into smaller molecules uh, that we can assimilate and nourish our body. Hmm. Fantastic. So that explains what is enzyme and also what is a catalyst. How does glyphosate spoil that? How does glyphosate um, spoil that uh, or hurt the or, or, or damage the enzyme or, or make it unable unable to do its work? Okay, uh, glyphosate um, integrates uh, with the enzyme. It chemically bonds to the enzyme, okay. uh, much the same as a pharmaceutical drug. Uh, uh, a pharmaceutical blocker, chemical blocker. Uh, it bonds and uh, it shuts down the enzyme so it no longer works. Oh, I see. And uh, that's that's fantastic. And and this is something that not fantastic in a good way it is alarming. And what happens when uh, we will come back to how you found it or what Monsanto knew? But what happens? when uh, our your digestive enzymes are unable to function properly and you are eating proper food what happens you have undigested uh, food in your stomach what happens then what, what, what all things are going to happen well if um if your uh if the proteins that you're ingesting aren't uh, properly digested you can have uh, uh undigested proteins get into your bloodstream and circulate and uh, cause autoimmune diseases, oh. autoimmune auto reactions. Oh, uh, immune obulins get generated uh, to take care of these foreign invaders. Oh, I see. So if you continue uh, with um, uh, inhibited enzymes not being able to digest your food, then every time uh, you eat something, eat that uh, certain food and it's not digested properly, you get... Uh, a response and some of the responses are pretty serious could mm -hmm. be life threatening mm -hmm. one question <coughs> undigested food can still get into the bloodstream the, the smaller molecules yes um, as uh, as your uh, uh, the lining of your gut um, thins and becomes porous uh, because of um, uh, disease process from poorly digested food uh, and also b uh, bacterial dysbiosis and whatnot, um, the, uh, the lining of your gut becomes porous and it allows uh, more uh, proteinaceous material to enter into the bloodstream, stuff that shouldn't be there. Oh, I see. So that means the, the, the thinning of the gut wall is also a side effect of glyphosate on one side, and then undigested food is another side effect, and the combination of these two can get... Uh, unwanted, uh, uh, undigested, and essentially harmful, uh, what do you call proteinaceous material, as you as you call it, into our bloodstream, and then start the autoimmune problem and all kinds of other 
ailments once it has gotten into the bloodstream. Is that more or less okay? That's correct. So how did, so, okay, next question. Didn't Monsanto know about all this or find find out these things? Uh, no, they never studied um, the enzymes of digestion. Um, back uh, when the original studies were done by Monsanto, um, uh, the digestive process and the effects of uh, chemicals uh, wasn't really fully known. I mean, we're still learning um, about uh, digestion and the effects of exogenous chemicals on our body. Oh, I see. So, okay, so they did not know back in the 70s and 80s. How did you find out? Uh, well, um, after I finished those laboratory analysis uh, that identified uh, glyphosate um, uh, integrating with our collagen, is 27 different types of collagen, and fibronectin and laminin and elastin. Those are our cons uh, proteins of construction. Um, then I got thinking about uh, other proteins that uh, our body uses, and uh, the enzymes was the next uh, logical place to look uh, to see if glyphosate uh, was attaching and inhibiting our enzymes also. So that's, uh, that's when I uh, selected uh, uh, our major digestive enzymes, which included the protease-type uh, enzymes, pepsin, uh, trypsin, chymotrypsin, um, uh, amylase, uh, as well as our uh, um, enzyme lipase, which is responsible for uh, digesting fats. That's when I... Uh, uh, decided that I would have a look at those. And so I, I got uh, these enzymes from uh, animals, pigs and cattle that were eating uh, a, uh, a diet that uh, had glyphosate residues. And uh, their organs uh, are the source for these enzymes. And so the purified uh, enzyme that comes from the pancreas or the lining of the stomach, I uh, obtained those and then I analyzed them by three different methods of a chemical analysis in the laboratory. I initially used ELISA, which is the enzyme uh, um, linked immunosorbent uh, method, and then uh, getting positive results uh, of glyphosate uh, attached to the enzymes. I wanted to confirm it by um, HPLC and GC chromatography uh, analysis. And that's what I did. Um, I confirmed that uh, these enzymes are indeed contaminated by glyphosate from the diet. And these enzymes are the same as our enzymes. Oh, I see. So that is the proof of how this damage cascade. So are you, have you written about it? Is it out there somewhere or is it still uh, cutting edge? Uh, well, we have a paper that's coming out shortly in a few weeks, and I've included some of those results uh, in that paper. I've included the results on uh, on pepsin uh, and trypsin and uh, lipase. Um, and during the month of March, I'll be looking at more of our enzymes, uh, actually the uh, uh, enzymes from animals that uh, have been fed a, a a diet um, laced with glyphosate. So um, there's more coming. Oh, I see. And this paper that you've already written, you said we. Who is the other person in the paper? Uh, my co-author, Stephanie Seneff. I see. And when is it expected to be out? Um, we're hoping within a, within a, a few weeks. It's already gone through um, the uh, peer review process and uh, we sent back the changes and edits and uh, corrections and whatnot. So uh, we're waiting to hear from the publisher when uh, when it's going up. Oh, I see. And okay, so as a last question, Anthony, thank you for uh, educating us on this uh, alarming issue. Uh, <clears throat> regarding safety of glyphosate from what you find uh, in enzymes and so on, <clears throat> I have two kind of questions. Is there different levels of safety uh, different levels of concentration of glyphosate into different kinds of food that can be considered safe or in general is any glyphosate can any glyphosate at all be con considered safe i now know 
that the government in Canada and also probably USA has different levels of concentration as a safety uh, parameter uh, limit for different kinds of food. What do you have to say? Uh, well, uh, the degree of safety, the limits that have been set for glyphosate have been set uh, like they would set the limits for uh, any other chemical using conventional toxicology, um, uh, looking at acute and chronic toxicity. However, my findings uh, showing that glyphosate inhibits the enzymes and disrupts digestion, uh, leading to um, a, a cascades of all kinds of diseases, uh, would say that there are no safe levels of glyphosate. Um, uh, any molecule of glyphosate can disrupt um, uh, our enzymes. Uh, it's, it's like um, uh, taking uh, a pharmaceutical uh, enzyme blocker at every meal. I see. Um, I and see. that's pretty serious. We can uh, have all kinds of side effects. I mean, if we took uh, uh, Boniva, and we didn't need Boniva, the drug uh, that prevents osteoporosis, uh, I mean, that drug has significant side effects. But if, uh, if we took that drug, um, it would, it would uh, cause deleterious effects to our biology. Um, and the, the, the same way with glyphosate. Glyphosate is a phosphonate compound like Boniva. I and, see. Uh, it, uh, it causes some serious damage to biology. It shouldn't be in our food supply. Okay, so, so to come back to the regulatory process, uh, would you say that testing glyphosate safety level using the standard toxicology test is wrong and one needs to look at it at by some other means, what would that other means be if it is not standard toxicology test? Uh, they, they need to add uh, enzymology to this. They need to uh, uh, study the effects of these chemicals on our digestive enzymes uh, and um, uh, like our uh, uh, CYP450 enzymes uh, within our cells. Um, they, they need to take closer uh, look at um, how chemicals affect our enzymology. I see. And is anybody telling Monsanto about that or educating or alerting uh, somebody? Are you in talk with them? Uh, not yet, but I know that as soon as this paper comes out, um, uh, they're going to be concerned. I'm, I'm about... Uh, uh, ready to send off a letter to the Environmental Protection Agency, National Institute of Health, the CDC, and the Food and Drug Administration, as well as my U.S. Senators, and uh, alert them to the fact that um, this um, uh, synthetic amino acid herbicide that we call glyphosate uh, inhibits our uh, digestive enzymes, and uh, we shouldn't have anything in our food supply that's uh, uh, causing deleterious effects to our digestive enzymes. I mean, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, a cause of all kinds of diseases, uh, mm -hmm. all kinds of digestive uh, issues. Um, um, just look at uh, the enzyme lipase that uh, I found uh, blocked by glyphosate. I mean, uh, lipase is necessary for cell signaling, uh, for controlling inflammation and, and metabolism. Um, it, um, it's a catalyst for the hydrolysis of our dietary lipids, our fats, oils, cholesterol esters, and triglycerides. Mm. I mean, uh, if lipase isn't functioning pro properly, our triglycerides go sky high. Mm -hmm. We have a problem with people with high triglycerides. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, 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 also, uh, if lipase isn't functioning correctly or being blocked, uh, we'll have uh, higher uh, LDL cholesterol, the mm -hmm. lousy cholesterol, lower uh, good cholesterol, the HDL. Um, there are, I mean, there are disease cascades that mm -hmm. happen from lipase, which include malabsorption, fatty mm -hmm. liver disease, failure to thrive, calcification of the adrenal gland, anemia, 
um, biliary dysfunction. Yeah. There's a yeah, endless uh, list, Tony. Okay, uh, a question. When you send those letters out, uh, Anthony, is it possible that you can disclose one or two to us so we can uh, show it around to the people? That was first question. And second question is, we are we are finished with the 15 minute limit. So if you have uh, a suggestion to the people listening to it, to this, of course, uh, we can tell them our opinion that there should not be any glyphosate in food. Unfortunately, they are not the one who are deciding it, uh, but they can choose, hopefully, what they eat and what they don't eat. What would you suggest as a short uh, warning to the people or a note of caution to the people? And you know, I'm looking at thousands of uh, records of CFIA test on glyphosate. So uh, if I have to look at something more with greater scrutiny, if you have any advice to me and to the people. Um, my uh, initial advice would be uh, uh, try to eat more organic food, avoid processed foods at all costs, avoid sugar, avoid wheat, uh, starches, um, uh, uh, those are some of the, the more contaminated um, foods. Um, and uh, send letters to your, uh, your uh, representatives um, in, uh, in your government. Tell them that you want these uh, uh, herbicides out of the food supply. They don't belong there. They're causing us uh, severe harm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh uh, uh, Anthony, I, I really appreciate you taking time to explain this to the people, this new uh, <laughs> horror story that glyphosate also affects our digestive enzymes. So, so apart from everything else, if it is in the food, you can't even digest it properly. That's correct. And of course, uh, the same thing applies with, with, uh, with regard to body weight. So younger and smaller the children are, more heavily they'll be affected, right? That's true. Remember, it was Hippocrates that said that um, bad digestion is the root of all evil. Ah, and I can see it. Thank you so much, Anthony. You have a wonderful day. Okay, bye. Take care, Tony. Thanks so much.